So we buy a Costco rotisserie chicken every time we go and we will let it cool and then we are going to remove the skin and get it all shredded. I line a large baking sheet with parchment paper. I have it all shredded up. Look at how much chicken that is. It's insane that you can get this much chicken for $4.99. And now we will put this into the freezer for one hour. So this was in the freezer for one hour. They're a little frozen, but not frozen solid. We will easily be able to break them up and to put them into our freezer bags. If we had shredded it all up and then put it in the bags, they would freeze into one big block and you don't want that. So that's why we freeze it this way first. I like to break it all up with tongs first and then put it in the bag. All right, I got them sealed up. I put less in this one just because I know I'm not gonna need that many chicken enchiladas and I'd rather have more chicken in our casserole. So I'll get these in the freezer and then they will be there for me to thaw out when I'm gonna use them and I will just thaw them by setting them in the fridge that morning. For this recipe, we will be using two cans of cream of chicken, a cup of mayo, a cup of cheddar, and then a cup of jack cheese. I have my rotisserie chicken uh, that I had frozen and thawed out, and this morning I just took it out of the freezer and put it into the fridge to thaw. And this is about half of the rotisserie chicken, maybe just a little bit more than half. Or you can do three cups of shredded chicken if you wanna do it yourself. And then some, a bag of frozen broccoli florets you can either do the 12 ounce bag or the 16 ounce bag and then just let them thaw and cut them up. I never let them thaw all the way. <laughs> I just don't plan ahead enough. Um, so it just means that it will need to bake a little longer, but it's okay. I have everything combined and I'm just gonna put it into my uh, greased nine by 13 pan. The recipe says to heat your oven to 375. I tend to do 400, but that's probably because my broccoli is always frozen. So I'm gonna put it into a 400 degree oven and cook it for like 35 to 45 minutes. You just want it to be bubbly. And I always wait to make my rice until my casserole's almost finished. I don't know where I heard it. Some cooking show said that casseroles are supposed to sit for like 20 to 30 minutes once they come out of the oven before you eat them. So I try and let it do that. And so I just don't make my rice until it's almost finished. rotisserie chicken I thought it would be fun to do some chicken enchiladas I have some green chilies to go in them and then I'm gonna do a green sauce to go with it I just feel like green sauce and chicken goes better together in my opinion so I think just what I'm gonna do is get the chicken in a bowl and add um, our green chilies and get that mixed together and then just put that in our tortillas and then for the sauce I thought it would be fun to do just the enchilada sauce and then drain the pinto beans and add the beans into it so that we can pour that over top like we do in um, my other enchilada video and then just top that with cheese and that will be dinner. I drained and I rinsed my pinto beans and I will just start getting that heated up on the stove and then put my green chilies with my chicken and I need to shred up some cheese to put inside too. but I made them big. I figure I have two and Jared has two and then Jade has one. Josh won't eat this. 
Um, but you could have made like six or seven. I put my sauce and bean mixture over and I'll just top it with cheese and put it in the oven. I have the oven preheated at 350. I'll probably do like 12 to 15 minutes. What is it, buddy? Sorry, I can't go with you. I'm gonna make dinner. You want something out of the pantry? watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time.